Loved by all of us. Huh? Yeah. Well, God knows it's always been enough for me. I just hope it's enough for her after everything that's happened. Hey, oh, there we go. Hey. Are right, you sunshine? Oh, there you go. Careful. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. So happy you're here. We got a lot of talk about you and me. A whole lot to talk about. All right, you're scaring me again, JR. I'm not going to kill Richie, which doesn't mean that I wouldn't want to. You know, he is an ex con. Why don't we just get the cops to put pressure on him and make his life more miserable than it already is? No, no cops. Too many rules. Although we could sick Zack Slater on him. And how does he factor in any of this? Well, you remember the night of the hit and run when I got blackout drunk? Yeah, how could I forget that? Yeah, well, the guy who hit Zack and let me take the fall. Who does that sound like to you? Oh, my God, Richie. And he buried Zack and Greenlee alive. That would be my guess. <sighs> well, how, how are we going to prove something like that, JR? No, no, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to... Tell Zach of my suspicions and let him get medieval on Richie. It's the two birds with one stone scenario. You know, let's little bits and pieces of Richie all across America and Zach Slater behind bars. I would pay to see that. Okay, but you're not because that's something the old J.R. Chandler would do. It just wouldn't be right until we know for sure. You can't blame a guy for dreaming. Why are you looking at me like that, J.R.? I still can't believe what you try to do to nail Richie. Nobody's ever stuck their neck out like that for me. And I can't tell you what that means to me. Is that just a habit you can't kick, Richie? If things don't go your way, you always just resort to blackmail? Well, it did work the first time you wanted to keep Ryan in the dark. And if you hadn't coughed up that cash, well, I'd have just been forced to go to Ryan and tell him that your big scary break-in was nothing more than a sham. That his attention-starved wife just made the whole thing up. Thing is, though, you can't prove that. Mm, well, this might be easier to prove. I mean, I have to hand it to you, sis. You are really going for the gold. I, I am proud of you. Getting pregnant to keep the old man roped in, that is good. Get out, Richie. Get out now, or I will call the police and say that the burglar's back. But this time I know who the burglar is. I don't think your parole officer would really like that, would you? Mm. No, they just write that off as a family squabble, just a little sibling rivalry. Besides... I've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought you were staying at Opal's. Oh, well, I was, it seems that Opal wasn't too happy to find me looking through her jewelry box. Which brings me to your doorstep. So what do you say, Annie? Are you willing to let your homeless brother stay here with you and Ryan? It's all in the family, right? I'm glad I could help JR. Yeah, so am I. I need you. We can't keep doing this. We can't? No, sex isn't the answer for us. Well, we can do it till something better comes along. Okay, I'm, I'm serious, JR. <sighs> yeah, well, believe it or not, I am too. That's why we should be mature. Stay focused and in control. Good, good. Yeah, which is why I'm moving back in with you. There's no such thing as hope for a man like me. Not after what I've done. If you stick to the path of forgiveness, you could see some pretty amazing results. Oh. Yippee do. The road to your redemption is a long one, Adam. I admit. But you've done the hardest part. You've taken the first step. Now all you have to do is stick to the journey. In other words, take a hike. Stick to the journey. Where the hell is my staff? Never give up hope. What are you doing here? Oh. 
Okay. Bye-bye, sweetie pie. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? See you later. Bye. Good luck. Yeah. So, listen, I thought it would be a good idea if you were to say a prayer to your Aunt Julia, you know, after everything has happened. Because, you know, she's listening. I mean, I could... We, I could say a prayer with you, if you'd like that. Okay. Why don't you take a knee there? Here. Okay. Uh, what, dear Julia? Huh? Dear Julia, it's Kathy and Tad. You probably know that. And while we're sure you're at peace and you're happy and you're you're making friends with angels, we also want you to know that we. We miss you very much. We we think about you every day. We know you're watching over us. You're doing your best to keep us safe. But we also want you to know that Kathy's got a lot of people that love her. A whole lot of people that love her that are doing everything they can to keep her safe. We want to be with her and take care of her. I love you, Aunt Julia. I'm being good. Can you make rainbows now? It's a piece of cake. You should have asked her for something tough. Anyway, I guess that's all for now. And uh, we'll be talking to you really soon. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Perfect. Would you come back over here for a second? Come on. Okay. I want to talk to you about something. Do you, do you remember what happened when we met? You were funny. You pulled money out of my ear. Yeah. That is a neat trick, isn't it? Well, you know what I remember is I, uh, I remember that you reached out and you, you grabbed my hand and it was amazing. It was like magic because I guess I fell in love in a second. Just like that. And it turns out there's a really good reason for that. Because uh, you and I have a connection. Yeah. We have a very, very special connection. Come on, Kendall, hit the ball! Be dark in nine or ten hours. Come on! so fast that you decided I was going to be your new daddy because you called me daddy you remember that and a lot of adults told you no that that was a mistake you can't do that you're not supposed to do that well uh, sometimes adults are wrong we make mistakes see uh, they told you not to do that because they were worried about me and my feelings. Because six years ago, I had a little girl and I made some mistakes and things got very, very mixed up and I lost her. And I looked all over the place, all over the world for her. It was very sad. I did a lot of praying, a lot of hoping for a miracle. I almost gave up hope. In the end, in the end, I did get my miracle, sweetheart, because the answer to my prayers was right under my nose 